Whoa! <laughs> First time I've flown a drone indoors in my house. Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for another flight test. Uh, as an intro, um, I've been flying FPV, first person view style flying for quite a long time. Not so much drones, but more uh, putting FPV systems into fixed wing aircraft, whether it be warbirds like a Spitfire or jets like an A-10. And I really enjoy doing that. But I do appreciate that if you have looked into getting into FPV, it can be quite expensive if you look into the, some of the different systems that are out there. And it can be technically quite complex if you have to source the individual components and put them all together so that you can fly FPV. Fortunately, my friends at Makerfire have come out with an FPV starter kit, which is a bit easier going on the pocket, but gives you the same type of experience. So let's take the components out of the box. Let's see what we get. Okay, so let's take the components out of the box. Uh, this is the Armour Blue B2, to be specific, that's on makerfire.com. So box, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. Uh, there's a couple of manuals. I'll cover what those are later. Um, take, Let's take the drone out first. So to be clear, this is an analog FPV system. You can see the cover over the camera. And that's self-contained, so you've got the FPV camera. And that is on the video transmitter as well, wired into the circuit board that controls the drone itself. Now all we have to do, I think, is clip this this way round. So I've done that, you see what I'm doing there? Just the two little, and it snaps into place. You can adjust the angle if you want to like that. Obviously you get, you get two batteries with this pack. And I should make clear that there are a number of different options if you order it from Makefire. This is the, the basic version that comes with the drone, a couple of batteries, tools and um, and also a screen an LCD screen like that that we are going to put in a cradle on top of the transmitter and this is the radio transmitter that you need to put a couple of double A's in in the box you get a charge lead for the flight batteries and that's another flight batteries um, aerial for the screen I'll just screw that in place quickly like that don't need that but that's a, a connector for the screen as well if you want to show the the display on a different device, I think. Um, USB charge lead for the screen because it's got a battery inside it. That's another cable, not sure what that's for. You get some tools and you get some spare parts here. So I'm gonna tip these out. You'll see, first of all, that this is uh, blue with blue blades, but you get four black spare black blades. You, uh, and you get uh, some other body features and you get the two sticks that go on the radio transmitter. Like so, just press those in place. So what I will show you is that the I think what happens is that goes on there, doesn't it? And then I think the idea is that that goes like that. So you'll turn the screen on, turn the radio transmitter on and turn the, put the battery in the bottom of the, the drone and connect it up to there and we'll get flying.
So let me connect it all up and we'll fly this for the first time. Okay, so we're ready to fly. I have charged up my two flight batteries. You see it's uh, underneath like that, ready to be plugged in to the drone. I have charged up the screen with the provided USB cable and I've put two AA batteries in the back of the radio transmitter. So the first thing I do, turn on the radio transmitter. The light flashes because it's not connected yet. Then I connect the battery for the drone. Push that firmly in, that flashes. Make sure that you push it so that it is underneath that strap and now I'm going to turn on the screen which is the middle big button um, you can go on there are other buttons on the side here so you can go up and down channels and the different frequencies should it not display the, the view straight away but if I move the drone around I'm hoping you can see the view changing. There's me. Brilliant. Um, so we're we're ready to fly. So I always advise when you fly, you get you want to fly something FPV, fly it line of sight first to make sure that it's flying properly. Um, and that's what I'll do just quickly here before I start actually looking at the screen itself and flying FPV as if I am on board the drone itself. All right, so I'll put the drone on there. Now to take off, if I remember from the manual, <laughs> I might have got this the wrong way around, but there are a number of ways you can take off, but certainly to its outside, and then inside, and then up. No. Ah, now it is. It was to the outside. Whoa! So there we go. We're up. Right. Now, if you look at the screen, if you look at the screen, that's the view I'm getting, and that's what I'm going to use now to fly around my living room. Here we go. First time I've flown a drone indoors in my house. So I could just do circuits. That is brilliant. Good signal. Even though I'm flying past the wall. I'm sure I get more and more confident as I'm learning how to fly this. Oh, oh. Bumps against the wall. Whoa! Right. Coming for a landing. And I'm down. And literally all I did was just hold the hold the left stick down, which is controlling height up and down, and left and right is your, and then you've got side to side motion and forwards and backwards on the right stick. Very easy to fly. So I thought that was really good.
you know, the picture is pretty clear. It's very flyable just off the screen on there. Um, I'm mostly a line of sight pilot, so I find it quite difficult to just fly solely looking at the screen, but it works really, really well. And I was pretty impressed with how clear it looked as I, as I went ar around the room. So that's the first look at this all-in-the-box FPV starter kit from my friends at Makefire. Pretty impressed with that. Um, this is about 100 bucks, so it's not too, too expensive. There are, I think, three other options where you could select to buy um, actual FPV goggles for that more immersive experience of flying first-person view. But if you want to just dip your toe in to flying FPV for the first time, or want to gift someone that experience, this could be the ideal thing. So the link is in the video description and the pinned comment if you want to look up if it's in stock and what the current price is. But thanks for watching and we'll do another video of the advanced features on this uh, drone in the very near future. Thanks, bye.